and welcome in to be our guest. This is part two of an interview we did with Mitch Henry, the president of Faulkner University, talking about their expanded health services program. We converted the old Burlington Coke factory yes. into that College of Health Sciences. Mm -hmm. We have spent um, about $17 million in brick and mortar and infrastructure and state-of-the-art anatomy equipment and facilities there inside. We're about to spend another three million dollars wow. plus in completing the outside of the facility mm -hmm. and building a bridge between that east campus and our main campus. Nice. So we'll have access to You know, it. but nice thing about Faulkner, you mentioned 17 million dollars. That's a lot of money. But in the overall scheme of things, it's not a lot of money because you guys took that money mm -hmm and did a wonderful job of it. Well, thank you. The, the neatest thing about what we do and what's unique about our college is I don't know anywhere else in the country where the students not only learn, but within the college we have built a health clinic. Hmm. And That's our right. students provide health care services to special needs children and adults for free. Mm -hmm. And so they're learning with their hands, not just the book knowledge, but they're learning with their hands how to care for people and to care for people in a compassionate way, just like Jesus did. Amen. So we're so excited about that. We've had great broad support from that, from the community. We've had great, great broad support from our, our legislature. But if folks qualify, they can come to our clinic and they don't pay a dime. They don't even pay their... Uh, deductible. And no co-pays. Yes, sir, no co-pays. <laughs> now, we, we try to encourage folks to go to our local providers sure. first because we're, we're in partnership with them. Absolutely. Uh, but if there's a situation where they can't get an appointment for mm -hmm. three months or more, or if their insurance doesn't cover, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Medicare only pays so much, uh, the, the supplemental insurance only pays so much, if people need extra therapy, then they can come and see us. Also, the Department of Mental Health and the Department of Rehab Services are partnering with us and they're making referrals of Good. particularly disabled children and adults mm -hmm. as well. Uh, we have provided about 23,000 plus free clinical visits just for speech and language so far. Mm -hmm. Starting October the 1st, we're going to provide occupational therapy in addition to the physical therapy, uh, mm -hmm. to the speech therapy. And then we will add mental health counseling. Then we will add acquired behavioral analysis therapy, which wow. is particularly needed for children that have been diagnosed on the autism spectrum. Mm -hmm. Very important. And then we will add physical therapy in February and March of next year. And so we'll have all those covered. And I'm pleased to announce that my board of directors has given me permission to start a nursing program. Great. So we're in the process of building Great. that out, getting the appropriate licenses and working on setting up the necessary paperwork to lead mm -hmm. to accreditation for that. So it's a wonderful time to, to study health science. If you've right. got children or grandchildren that want to study health science or if, if you're in a position and you're watching this and you would like to study uh, beyond that bachelor's degree, We've got uh, some capacity you've got to apply. It's competitive to get right. in. It's a state-of-the-art program and a wonderful, wonderful group of faculty. So there's a lot of com competition to get in. We've had waiting lists on several programs. But if you can get in, we're going to provide a great education. It'll be a little bit different because it'll involve students and faculty that are interested in the ethic of Christ. Mm -hmm. Which is the foundation for everything. Absolutely. When you get right down to that it. That is so true. So if anybody wants information about Faulkner, you go to faulkner.edu. Faulkner.edu and uh, click on the tabs that will lead you to the College of Health Sciences, to our clinical program. Um, if you are a disabled adult or you have a disabled child, uh, you can look for services through the Alabama Department of Mental Health and the Alabama Department of Rehab Services. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully next year we're going to add the Alabama Department of Senior Services Good. as well, which I know provides a lot of yes. services for, for your audience here. Absolutely. So we're excited Good. about the opportunities for the community. Well, great to have you at the helm. Thank, thank you for what you're thank doing. Thank you. And remember, Faulkner is a very integral part of this community. They don't just teach. They put their 
money where their mouth is. And we'll be right back right after this. <laughs> 